It's been a day since the Witchwood release, and people have already figured out the most powerful card. We are talking about, with 100% confidence, without a doubt, about the Witch's Cauldron of course. Hi there. So how do you play a Shadow Walk deck? Well it is not easy I will tell you that. I mean you have to spend precious 1600 dust. The amount of dust you could be using to craft Toki Time Tinker instead. So now you have the card, but what about the deck? It is easy, you have two options. Either type battle cry in the search bar, and add some of the cards. Or find a refined deck list, whichever option you choose. I am not sure there will be any difference in the end result. Mulligan. You do what the heck you want to do. Does the mulligan phase even matter? Now, the important part. How to play this deck. Just by reading the effect of Shadow Walk. I already know how to play the deck. Like a freeze mage of course. Ice block is gone. Well no problem. There is a new freeze deck in town. And it is freeze shaman. But not the freeze shaman you are thinking about. Ha 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 ha. So, just play battle cries, and more battle cries, and more battle cries, and then some more battle cries. The end result being, playing the ultimate battle cry, the Beyond Yog Saren level battle cry. After playing Shudder Walk, you can do some really cool things while waiting for the effect to resolve. For example, you could read the Lord of the Rings. Twice. Now, you have the full knowledge of how to play the Shudder Walk Shaman. See you on the ladder, but hopefully not.